and we're back with another episode of Let's Play, another series even, and today we will be working on Final Fantasy III. It originally came out for the, for the Famicom, never getting a U.S. release until way, way later down the road, and now it is here. And this is the Pixel Remaster version, which is probably the best version out there, um, because we're not going to be doing the, the uh, DS version that has Luneth and all of and Ignis and all of them. No, no, no. Just 10,000 degrees of no. Uh, that version is pretty garbage. But we will be doing this version. And uh, yeah, I thought about what to play next, and I was torn between Wild Arms 4, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 5, um, and Kudelka. And at the end of the day, I said, you know what, I feel like another Final Fantasy. So let's just do probably the most obscure of the numeric Final Fantasy games that people have played, which is Final Fantasy 3. Let's go ahead and get started here. Many also would argue it is one of the worst Final Fantasy story-wise in the entire uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi series, so we'll have to be the judge of that down the road. And let's get, so let's see here. We get to name our characters, unlike the version that we will not speak of. So we'll name him Jack Tard, we'll name him, um, we'll name him Fuckstick. Why not? A dildo and whoop. and then last but not least uh tallywhacker because why not so jack tart fuckstick dildo and tallywhacker the greatest names that could ever be made named for heroes such as these and let's go yeah this is arguing to have the worst story um into the silence, one of the Golgans prophesied the Great Earthquake was only the beginning. I believe that this goes by pretty quick, too. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystal sources of the world's light were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasm now scarring the Earth. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. What? The evil uh, overlord just ripped a big stinker? Something fabulous, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon. But hope is not yet gone completely. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light, and so it shall begin. Four assholes will be blessed with the powers of light. Yeah! Because <laughs> I don't think they actually talk. Four orphaned youths raised by Topapa in the rural village of Ur were out to test their metal. Actually, I think they do talk. They came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. What started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. Whee! I'm fooling! Fooling! Ow. Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. Well, now what do we do? Are you sure this is a good idea? Maybe we can climb out. You want to go exploring? Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, quit squabbling, you two. We need to find a way out of here. Do we? We're still not in control. <laughs> and much to my love of the remasters, the music is quite nice. Freaking sweet! Well, what are those monsters doing here? We're in uh, way over our heads. Let's get out of here as fast as possible. So the instructions of movement, but we know how to, what to do. We get a potion, a leather shield, which we can go ahead and plop there for what it's worth. Let's keep moving, huh? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. You don't say. Now that you mention it. Bleep bleep. Oh my God! It's like real. Holy shit! It's like real magic. As we get another leather shield. Let's keep moving as we are under attack by more goblins. Not a problem. Nothing we can't handle. As we get an Antarctic wind. Another potion. These are all good things. And then a back attack. Tickled my Elmo. Nice. 
this. And we get a potion. We can also walk diagonal too, which is new. Look, it's a spring. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but it is such an odd color. Let's take a sip. I'm not too sure about this. Another Antarctic wind. Another Baturu. With some new enemies. Again, there's no reason to just not gang up on them at this point. And we're going to want to do a little bit of leveling here. Only a little bit. Only a wee bit of leveling. There we go. We can fast forward through some of this. And the reason being is mostly, as you can see, we're right near a, uh, a special area here. I didn't really explain it very well, did I? Um, we'll utilize it in a moment, though. You'll see what I mean. But yeah, leveling to about three. Three is probably going to be good. But me, you know, anything I can overdo, I will. Um, but yeah, getting getting up in levels is going to be a big thing in this game. Um, in a way that is hard to explain. And we also want to make sure that we bump into as many monsters as possible to work on that coveted bestiary. As you can see, the en even the enemies here, five damage is pretty substantial. So. God damn, they're missing left and right, aren't they? The eye fangs are the real threat. There we go. And then what we can do is come here, and look at that. HP and MP restore, KO allies revived. We can hit this up as many times as we want. Hence why it makes sense to kind of level here, for sure. Strangely enough, we do have a boss fight coming up, so we don't want to be too, too weak. good XP in this type of fight so and their jobs have increased to level 3 because that's right this is the first Final Fantasy if I didn't mention earlier to introduce the job system it's also one of the worst implementations of the job system but that was the first one so what do you what do you expect and so we'll, we'll go into that too we're almost level 3 which is probably probably strong enough to deal with what's coming up And job level increased to four for Jack Tart and Tallywhacker. That's good. Almost there. You do some hot killing. All right, everybody hits level three. No, no, no status bonuses either. Okay. Let's take a look at our stats really quick. They should all be almost identical, though the job level, they're Onion Knights, and they're, some of their stats are a little lower because of the gear. So we'll just move on. Because we may as well. I don't think one level's really going to aid us that much. Go... Oh god, the darkness! What is going on? A malicious force attacks the party! <laughs> Bring it. As we fight a land turtle, and to be fair... Let's start with that. Pretty much we can just go with the flow here. We start getting low. If somebody starts getting low on health, we'll throw the other Antarctic wind to end this. But if you really want to speed through it, just use them both. But I like keeping one because you can sell it. You can use it for something later. There's lots of reasons not to do it right away. And... Nice. The crystal shines brightly. You four have been chosen. Whoa, the crystal's talking. 
I give unto you the last of my light, and with it the last hope of a fading world. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept the light into your hearts, and the crystals will grant you unimaginable strength. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. We cannot allow the light to fade from the world. The party is enveloped in a bright light. You don't say. So, yeah, this is kind of the opening. The opening to, to Final Fantasy II is better than the opening to Final Fantasy III. Definitely more thought put into it. Better than Final Fantasy I, arguably, for an opening. But... Within the light, of the will of the crystal surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. Okay. And so began a journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. The young heroes received the crystal's powers, and now they're jacked. Okay, we'll go over that too, because I think they get five jobs, six jobs available to them. I think it's five jobs. And with it, the world's last light of hope. Warrior, monk, white mage, black mage, and red mage jobs are now available. Step upon the magic sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. So really quick, let's uh, remove all the gear. We're going to have to do this a lot of the times when we change jobs. I love the music in these repixel, these pixel remasters. I'm not lying. They do a good job. Um, obviously, Jack Tart's gonna be Captain Beef. Um, fuck stick, we need another strong melee fighter. So we'll do that. Now, we need a white mage, because healing's your friend. So that's pretty straightforward. And then we have our choice here of red mage and black mage. Um, I'll be honest with you, early on in the game, the red mage makes more sense. Just because at least you have a third offensive fighter for those low levels. Um, the Black Mage, though, getting levels up in Black Mage can be somewhat tricky to some people as well. So it's really up to you. I think we'll go with Red Mage for now, because like I said, it'll be nice early on. As you can see, double-equipped knives there um, and whatnot. So, oh wait, no, 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 I want you as a White Mage. Did I not? Oh, I didn't switch over. Okay, we'll do it like that. Because he's eventually going to be our Black Mage at some point as well, so... Just as a heads up. Okay, let's move on, shall we? As we head out. Oh, you know what I didn't think to do, too, is we need to put our white wizard in the back row. So let's do that. They'll live longer. Oh, you know what we can also do? Let's go back. You know what, before I forget... Because it's easy to forget. We, the, we the, you know, there's here's the rest of the cave. That's because it just allows us to teleport out of the cave. But if you saw the opening, you would know that we there was actually more cave that we were in, right? So this will give us some money and some other items as well. Again, things you don't want to miss out on. And it's really going to give us, in my opinion, some pretty good gear. Bronze Bracers, Long Sword. Should be fine. Sleep spell. Minchaku and another longsword. Alright, simple enough, right? Let's go into our gear here. Um, the way I would do this, um, clearly we need a longsword and a... You know what? We'll dual wield these longswords, because why not? Um, now we could put the Ninchaku, but we don't really want to do that right now. There's a reason for that that is easier to 
point out, it has to do with leveling up your abilities and your skills and stuff. Which is why we don't necessarily want to do it. Also, if we go into items, we go into sleep. Let's give sleep to Tallywhacker. Okay, let's get out of here. There's a reason for my madness, I assure you. Let's keep moving. Alright, so first things first is there's a lot of things to look at here. So let's go to the magic shop first. And we'll buy Poisana, why not? Yay! Two of those. Hmm, what else do I want to get? Hmm. No, 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 no. I think we're good there. Let's do some setup here just because we already did this. Put poison where it needs to go. He stays. Hmm. Well, let's buy the rest of our gear first and then we'll see how much. It's all based on how much money we have. Um. We got leather shields. We should probably buy leather armor. And you can see that gives us a discount. If you do the math, 180, 27, 342. So we get a discount when we buy in bulk of anything four or more. So definitely we'll buy that. Um, the bronze bracer. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. And pretty much shields are going to be something we almost really never buy. <clears throat> so I wouldn't worry about it um, too much. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go all the way around. Grab a potion. I'm picking flowers, and now you're picking your nose and getting in my way. What do you have to say? When the Great Earthquake hit, the Crystal Altar sank deep underground. Oh, this world is destined for ruin. You should never leave home without a cure, a spell of cure. I saw one in the shed, deeper in the thicket. Careful, though, there are monsters along that path. King Sassoon's castle, Sassoon's castle lies to the west. He rules the region surrounded by the Permini Mountains, including this village. The wellspring water from the sanctuary can restore the health of those who have received the light of the crystal even from the brink of death. Why, if it isn't the f you four rascals, where are you running off to? What's that? Saving the world? Aren't you getting a bit old for make-believe? If you want to use an item, just select the item. Okay. Okay, we don't need to do that. The Elder awaits you inside. It seems that Don sensed what befell you all. He always did have a strong connection with the spirit world. We're not going to talk to him yet. Oh my, you're a tenacious bunch to find me here. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my secret potion stash. Just check out this well. Potion. 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 We found her drugs. Her drugs! I think there's one dude over here. To the south is the town of Kezus, but no one ventures out that far since the Great Earthquake. Or has it that the route is overrun with monsters? Could be... As so we make our way along this road. I know, uh, the first town you get attacked with. Isn't that fun? Let's head over here first. I believe there's an item down below. See the candle furthest to the right is actually switched for a hidden door. Let's find 
these goods here. Longsword, leather amir, dagger, cure, and some more leather amir. Um, definitely put that cure spell on right away. Okay. We got better than the knives. Boom. 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 Uh, we'll move that. And then that should be pretty good. Because, yeah, that just lowers his accuracy. I don't know if I really want to use that at the moment, just to be fair. Right, let's head back the way we came. Clearly having to deal with the local yokels. Freaking sweet! Let's get down over here. HP and MP restored. I believe this is just the revival one. Okay, I'll go. Yes, the spirits told me exactly what to tell you. Now speak with Elder Topapa. I believe he has some wisdom for you. Okay, okay. Do I have to? <clears throat> it's Nina, a motherly figure to the four orphans. Take care on your journey. You know I worry so. It's Homak, one of the town elders. In order to understand the power you've been granted by the crystal, you need to be your true to your heart. It's Topapa, the elder who raised the four orphans. To Papa, we we just got jacked. I I know, I know. To think that you four would be chosen by the lads, Jack Todd, Fox, Dick, Dildo, and Tallywacker. I never liked any of you, hence your names. But you must understand that such a meeting was no mere chance. The crystal will willed you to it, such is its power. Your souls have been touched by light. You cannot let the strength you've been granted go to waste. You must depart at once and seal away the powers of darkness. Okie dokie. Sounds like a plan. Quick. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure there's nothing back there. Okay, so we're all geared up. And let us continue forth. We now must head south. And we'll reach another town. Looky there. Uh, how? Oh, sorry, I thought you might be ghosts too. While traveling from the west, I came upon this accursed town. <coughs> I stayed away from the inn if I read it's full of g -g -g ghosts. Yeah. Revival. Not that that matters. Okay. Well, let's take a look around, shall we? The Jin's curse turned the villagers into this. Clearly it did. Check every building just to make sure. Not, not much we can do about getting the chests behind the counter. More for looks than anything else. Um. A potion. It burns! And... Sid's the name. I'm from Kanan. But a border in Nell Valley is blocking my way home. Now I'm stuck here. Figured I'd spend the night at the inn. And then this happened. What's my wife gonna say? Say, I wanna take my airship for a spin? It's parked under the desert to the west of town. In return, you think you could do something to hear about this predicament? So we learn where to find Sid's airship. <laughs> we'll head this way. A whole lot of nothing. I 
And there's really not much else to do in the town. There is a cave back here, but my understanding, if I remember correctly, there's really nothing that we can do in here yet. So I don't want to really mess with that right now. And I think it introduced some new enemies to us. That we're probably, again, shouldn't be messing with. Um, let's go this way. And thus we find the airship. They gave us an airship this early? What are they thinking? <laughs> so let's go ahead and head here. Shall we? Go right into the castle. Okay. The Jin's curse turned everyone in the castle into ghosts. I was only spared because I was on a mission at the time. So yeah, this place is having the same problem. So hmm. Oops. If we had a mithril ring, we would be able to seal away the Jin again. Kaizus is the only place where you can craft such a ring, but with a curse? How can we hope to find a mithril ring now? I don't know. Get off your ass and do it? Should I throw that out there? Then... Leave. There's some shenanigans. Yes, there is. Blizzard spell and a leather shield, all very useful things. We go back this way too, we can get some more items. Well, the wellspring room isn't doing anything for us. Let's go ahead and I guess put, I guess we should put this. Mm, yeah, I should probably put this blizzard on our. Tallywhacker. You know what? Really quick, too. Okay, no. Hmm. There we go. Now, that's going to be... See, not better attack and less accuracy debuff. Way better than the Nunchaku. Hence why we didn't bother wasting our time even equipping it on the guy. Just saying. So let's head up here. I'm King Sasune, but as you can see, the Jin's curse has reduced me to this ghostly form. Only by defeating the Jin can this foul curse be lifted. Where is the Jin? He dwells in the sealed cavern north of this castle, but without a mithril ring, you will be powerless to seal him away. I heard her uh, that her highness, Princess Sarah, has one. Oh, how could I have forgotten? The people of Kazus once presented Sarah with a mithril ring, but I fear Sarah is nowhere to be found. She had been abducted by the Jin? Oh, my poor Sarah. We can check the sealed cavern. Oh, such stalwart warriors. When you reach the sealed cavern, you should know there is a secret door. The skeleton is the key. Please, you must defeat the djinn and free my people from this wicked curse. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's go down. Pretty far down here, because we've got some other things that we need to take a look into as well. go and yes you'll notice there are monsters wow lots of missing Ooh, lots of pain Everybody levels. There's a 
reason we want to be kind of at our top health here if we can. Because of this! Alright, so, old oh, no. Uh. Spread that fire damage around, sir. And he's down. We level up again, yay. And there's the white slayer. It's a knife, is it not? Yeah, okay, but... Okay, so really, there we go. Definitely an interesting sort sorting of that there, isn't it? Out of MP, so we're gonna have to go and heal mainly at the starter town that we started in. And let's go ahead, and we'll go in here and heal up because we. You know, Lord knows we need to. Play the piano while we're here. Lame. Scene travel always keeps a few antidotes and eye drops on hand. I'm a dancer, can't you tell? Want to see me dance? Sure. Based off of real classical music, too. These are not original. If you know what they are, post in the comment section below. I know what they are. I'm just curious if you do. And no cheating. Hey, it looks like you can play the piano. Give us a tune. A big old boulderish block in the valley so I can't get back to Canaan. Okay, well, yeah, too bad. I can't talk to this dude. I don't know if I can be a specialty thing on. Warrior Monk, White Mage, and Red Mage. How would I do? What they, I guess, throughout the game, he's going to give us better examples? Mm -hmm. And we can buy some items. We don't have any eye drops, so let's take that advice. Buy four of these. And just two more of those. What is our two next level? 153. Hmm. Like I said, we're going to heal up, amongst other things. Let's keep moving. And to be fair, you know what? How are we doing on items here? Yeah, let's let's grab a few more items, shall we? It's not I'm not feeling it. Specifically in the potions and antidote area, because I know we're gonna start running into that. Feel a little, I feel a little better about that. I really do. As goofy as that sounds to make that, to say that, you know, it's, I feel a little better about that. All right. So from here, now we head over to here, and this is going to be the Cave of the Seal. 
and we've got some stuff to do now. I'm I'm a I feel I could probably be a little higher in level. Um, I should be I should want to go in here at about level six, I would say. And since we're not level six, we're gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of leveling, and it'll give us some money as well. So this is where I'm going to say I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv. Let's check our studios for more live gaming, action, live gaming action that I can't do here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. And when we come back, Cave of the Seal, we're going to see if we can beat up us a good old gin or genie, however you want to call it. We'll see you guys next time.